taking a break because I already have my YouTube back in my possession, right? But now I, I look at it. I was like, maybe take a break because maybe this is overwhelming, you know? Me messing up some of my videos and not putting pictures on it. So I'm going to take a break and reevaluate myself, you know? And try to, like, put more pictures in it and make it look okay to me, right? Or perfect to me. So I'm taking a break until today this is when i'm posting it i think it's october the 15th 2020 right delicious cutesy squad so kind of because september it was august and then september and then october right so it took a break. but let me tell you why i took a break it wasn't even a break because is a situation would happen right on youtube right someone did so took my account right like when someone stole my account and then i had to fight to go get it back right my youtube account right meaning my channel so someone took my channel on youtube you know and somehow i had to contact youtube and stuff like that and try to get my youtube back i had to fight for it Anywho, I don't even have that much subscribers. So, to me, it was kind of like pointless because I ain't had that much subscribers to fight for, you know. But then I was like, I'm okay. And I'm okay. They didn't really take me off of YouTube because of, um, like, posting some weird stuff on my account. Then I got to do it myself and figure it out or something like that. It was, it was just trying to tell me that they can't do nothing about it, right? technically kind of so i was like kind of pissed about that as well some so, of the videos i'd be posting you know so i was like whatever so i was like or like someone took my channel i was like i was over it but then like two days pass i'm like how i'm gonna post all the videos i have on private you know i have maybe like 200 100 videos on private i didn't upload yet so me thinking that snap they stole my account on youtube right i can't get none of the videos back what i didn't post yet because it's on private so it was a lose-lose situation because one i didn't really i really i cared but i didn't really care that much until i remembered that i have so many videos on youtube what is not upload yet because it's on private and that kind of like pissed me off a little bit more because of that situation and somehow i had to take a break because they took my on um, my account so i wanted to like all those focus back on myself you know after i got it back right meaning they stole my account and to me i was like maybe that could be a break you know from YouTube even if they took my account it can be a break so apparently I found out like after like a week or so I started to fight back to get my YouTube account meaning my channel back and apparently I got it back right somehow let me tell you the little situation they took my my channel they locked it they change the password and everything right so i had to go back try to like fix it and try to get it back you know youtube was like saying i can't help you if you was not fully like um what was it they said something about like if they really didn't kick them out. i was like kind of pissed about that as well so apparently i try to like go back and try to find or like try to like make a different account I was trying to make a new account, but then I can't make a new account because I don't want to make an alias name for a new account because I don't know why I won't do that. I just wanted to like have a, a, a channel that had my real name, my government name on it and not have like an alias, you know, like I usually do. My emails and stuff is like alias names, you know, so I didn't want to do that for you uh, make another account on youtube so i can put another alias name on it right so that was the main thing i i got my account back right but then i was like i was thinking about it you know and i was like looking at all my old videos right this is when i couldn't get in i was looking at all my old videos and 
the old videos i edit a lot like when i first started on youtube i edit like crazy meaning i couldn't settle for just editing a video once somehow i keep re-watching it when i'm editing it and it didn't look right to me i bet you people say it's all right you know but to me it was not perfect so i edited like six times that's when i first started on youtube but when like when i have like i don't know how many videos i have now but like nowadays i don't edit six times because before when i started youtube i wanted to be perfect on youtube now i'm not really like wondering if i want to be perfect i just want to be okay you know so apparently i i reflected on all my videos when i posted a long time ago right and then i, I looked at it, i was like all those years the old years i posted i try to make it as perfect is possible sometimes i made it too perfect and then i forgot about it and then i delete the video and then i gotta re-edit it to try to make it as perfect that i did before never happened but now i'm like i don't edit that much but now i'm looking at it, i'm like i should edit even better you know because sometimes the new videos i have like a little bit of mistakes my old videos never had no mistakes none whatsoever you know to me so now I'm looking back on the new videos I have, right? And I'm like, there's so many mistakes. Meaning I coughed up. Meaning I choked up. Meaning like I messed up like a word or so. Sometimes when I stutter or like mess up a word, I go back on it and then try to edit that out. You know how real YouTubers, like um, bigger YouTubers than I am, they say they edit their videos, but sometimes you can see like mistakes in their videos. They will say one word, but they don't post a say on YouTube, but usually they post to edit that word out. What I do, I edit, well, I watch my videos so much times that I can re-say it. It's kind of crazy, but I, I, when I edit, I really edit. I'm not like those random YouTubers. I mean, the bigger YouTubers, you know, when they say they edit it, but it really is not really edited. When they say edit, that means they look at the video and just call it a day and they post it. When I edit a video, I watch it at least six times. I watch the first part, right? And I cut it watch it again and see how many parts I messed up I did a mistake on right and I go back and recorrect it right my video before my videos was like that's how I did it old times when I first started out now I still edit don't get me wrong but you can see some mistakes when I like stutter a little bit you know and when I was taking this break I started to edit better like I was doing when I first started on YouTube. Meaning, I'm adding more pictures to it, you know. Like, if I'm saying something, I want to put pictures to it. The ones that I have on private, I want to add pictures to it. But I can't because I already deleted the video on my computer. So it's only posted on my account, but it's not on my computer anymore because i delete all the videos say i made like 16 videos right i i look at the videos i edit it and stuff like that to me it's kind of perfect it's falling off the edge but it's perfect kind of some of the videos i wanted to add pictures you know like the other ones when i add like little little pictures and emojis and stuff like that you know and i look back at it, i was like i could have add a picture or something what like brings out the video right and i'm like damn i could have did that you know but then i already posted it but it's on private so i can't really delete if i delete it that means it's gone forever i'm not gonna remember what i said on that video right so some videos the old videos what i have and i don't think it looks good to me i do delete it right why i stop for a while now months I, that's the whole start the part of the story that 